Hello, hello. How are you tonight? I'm Beth Darling, Sexy Genius, and I've got a special little treat for you this evening. When was the last time somebody read you a bedtime story? If you're like most adults, it's been a, just a really long time. But I got a little treat for you because I've got a new book coming out. It's gonna launch on Kindle, on Amazon on November 3rd, but you can pre-order it right now. And I hope you will because this is a very special book. This, it's called COVID Connections, a darling way collection of erotic short stories. They are incredibly erotic. They're wonderful. And they're all written by members of our Darling Way community. That's right. These are not professional authors. These are people who just have fantasies going on in their heads, just like all the rest of us, but they put their fantasies to pen and paper so the rest of us can enjoy it. And enjoy it, we are definitely. Well, you haven't heard it yet. It's not out yet, but I've read them and read them and pleasured myself to them and pleasured myself to them. They're awesome, they're wonderful, they're real. <sighs> and it's a delight. So again, COVID Connections, a Darling Way collection of erotic short stories. You can find it on Amazon. Please pre-order it now. All right, pre-order now and that way on November 3rd, it'll go straight to your Kindle device and it helps us to have as many pre-orders as possible. So please, please, please. Now, to give you an idea of why, why you, like don't just do it for my sake, but, or do it for my sake. It's all of $4.99, $4.99 on Amazon. So it's not, it's not gonna make or break you, I promise you that, but I'm pretty sure you'll realize you'll get way more than $4.99 worth of pleasure and fun out of it. Here's the deal. These stories are just lovely and they sound good if you read them out loud. You can read them to yourself and get yourself turned on, but if you read them to your partner or if you have your partner read them to you, heck, if you're at a party with other people and they let you read them, right? Words are words and oh, words are such a turn on, such a turn on. I'm a bookworm, a word nerd, if you will. So let me just tell you, I just picked out a little section that I thought I would share with you. It's mid story. I'm not even gonna bother explaining the whole story to you, but. He really was adorable. Heather couldn't help thinking as she reached to one side, picking up her shoe box. She brought it to the frame and she shook it gently, rattling the contents inside. Taking on an inquisitive expression, she drew her legs up under her body, knowing full well that the move would flash her panties at the camera and set the box on her lap. Opening it, she reached inside and withdrew a vibrator. Not just any old vibe though. This one was her favorite. Long, thick, and equipped with five settings, it had serviced every need she'd had since getting it five years ago. Holding it up to the lamplight, she flashed him her most seductive smirk and she saw David's lips curl into an eager grin. He shifted where he sat, getting a little bit more comfortable for what they both knew was coming next. Leaning back on her own couch, Heather lifted the vibrator to her lips. With a hum of satisfaction, she extended her tongue and swirled it across the toy's tip. Her movements were slow and sensuous, bathing the vibes in her warm, wet saliva. Heather's other hand trailed down her stomach to grab the hem of her shirt and lift it higher giving him a tantalizing view of her panty-clad mound. Dipping the toy past her lips, she closed her eyes and began to suck it. Peeking past her lashes, she saw David reach down between his own legs. His hand came to rest on his crotch and she saw it at work there, slow, teasing, stroking himself through his pants. The sight made her smirk around the vibrator and Heather began to suck on it harder, bobbing up and down on it to give him a real show. At the same time, 
her left hand stroked across her cleft, igniting the first fires of lust between her legs. She heard him wrestling through the speakers of her laptop and peeked again to see him dragging off his shirt to reveal a slim, muscular build underneath. Heather had known he liked to spend time at the gym, but she never expected him to look so trim. The muscles across his arm rippled so seductively in the dim light of his living room. The sight was enough to make her heart skip a beat with excitement, and suddenly the lead wasn't so scary. Oh, sorry, the sight was enough to make her heart, um, and suddenly taking the lead wasn't so scary anymore. Sorry for that. <sighs> All her doubts fell away as she bit down on the vibrator, clasping it between her lips so she could use both hands to wiggle out of her panties. Kicking them aside, Heather slumped back into her couch and hiked her knees towards his shoulders, giving him an unobstructed view of the slit nestled between her plump, pale thighs. That caught an appreciative groan from David, and she saw a sizable tent in his pants now, standing rigid as he stroked a thumb across its head. Slipping the vibrator free of her lips with a slurp, Heather smirked at him. Come on, Heather said in a soft, teasing voice. Don't keep me in suspense. I want to see what I've been missing out on. You could imagine what happens next, but, right? It's beautiful, it's touching, it's erotic, it's sexy. And there's so much more. There is so much so much more. I don't know how many times I've read these stories. I couldn't tell you a favor. Like my kids, I can't choose amongst them, but maybe you will. But please go to Amazon. Normally, I'm not advocating for them, but tonight I am because COVID Connections, Darling Way, collection of erotic short stories. I'm the editor. It's under Beth Liebling. Um, please go order it, pre-order it now. $4.99, that's it. I don't know how many hours of fun and pleasure you'll have. So thank you very much. Enjoy it much. Tell me, give us a review once you get it. Um, and hey, let me know what your favorite short stories are. And you know what? If you give us a review on there, let me know and tell me, if you give me a page on the book and you give me a review on Amazon and you bought the book, then I will read that story for you and I'll post another video. So I promise I'll do that, okay? For at least 10 people, okay? I don't know how many more, but 10 people. Give me, buy the book, give a review when it comes out, and then let me know one page, and I will read it and do a video for you. Okay, oh, you can message me, beth at darlingway.com. Big hugs, big love. Um, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also go sign up at sexyedschool.com. Please, you'll get a free short story there and you'll get a little love note from me every week. So big hugs and love. I'll see you soon. I'm going to go finish this story. Don't pay any attention to me.